Hi, I'm Lauren. In this video, we're going to achieve a complex effect in Squarespace, made super simple with the Square Kicker extension. We're going to add SVG masks to our Squarespace content using the no-code stencils tool. Put your images, videos or buttons inside creative shapes to create a modern stencil or clipping effect. You can choose from a whole library of animated or static shapes. Let's jump in and see how to break free from boring rectangles. We're going to learn to locate stencils, upload your own SVGs, modify the size and focal point, add to video blocks, customize section background, and create advanced designs. The stencils tool can be found in the advanced tab on video, image, button, and map blocks. Let's have a look. On this website, I'm going to select an image, open the extension, go under advanced, and now I've got stencils. From here, you can choose from a library of over 60 different shapes, which include all the familiar Squarespace shapes, plus some new ones to suit every brand, project, and layout. At the top, you will find the animated shapes, which are really exciting and will make your block look even more attractive. Below those, you will find static shapes ready for you to add to your site. Now let's take a moment to talk about uploading your own SVGs. Make your site brand forward by uploading custom SVGs, like your logo, an icon, or any distinctive shape tied to your business identity. To do that, Simply click on the plus icon, select your SVG, and it will now populate at the top of the list. If you need some guidance on creating your own static or animated shapes, watch our pro tip video which explains how to do this. Look for the link in the description. Your stencil size and focal point determines which parts of your content are visible. This works just like the Squarespace's native focal point tool, which you might have used on other images. This setting ensures your subject stays in focus, no matter the shape. To do that, just use this slider. As you can see, it changes the size. And here, I can choose the focal point, which is pretty awesome. And if I want to get really granular, I can manually enter some numbers there. That's as simple as that. Now this is where it gets exciting. You can also add stencils to video blocks. Shape videos create focal points that guide the eye and increase engagement. Upload your video, pick a shape, and instantly display dynamic content in a fresh way. This feature looks best with uploaded videos rather than a YouTube or Vimeo link. Let's have a look. Over here, I'm using this video as a bit of a teaser for the exhibition, so I've set it on mute, loop and autoplay. I can now open the Square Kicker extension. As usual, go to the advanced tab, open stencils, and now I'm gonna pick a shape. I quite like this one. And I'm happy with the size and the focal point. You can create really unique layouts by adding a stencil to your section background. Once you have added an image, video or even art background with Squarespace. Open the Square Kicker extension in your section settings, go to advanced, stencils, and I'm going to pick an animated shape because they look cool. This one's pretty great. Uh, I'm happy with the size and now I get to pick which color I want for the background on my section, which is the section fill option. And I'm going to pick this color. I can go ahead and select and apply and there you have it. You can combine stencils with some of your other favorite features like hover, scrolling effects, magnetic motion or fixed scrolling. I've had a good play with the tool and want to share with you what I have created in the hope that it might be inspiring to you. Let's have a look. So this first design is using a split section layout. So on both of these sections, I have a video in the background. Now on the right, I have applied a stencil 
And on the left, I've just put a shape block here to create this illusion of like positive negative. Now, what is cool here is that I've added under advanced, I have added a fixed scrolling on the background. So when you look at it, the video is actually not moving. Um, yeah, which is a really cool effect I like. I have done the same thing here on this next section using the logo of the gallery so that the background shows through with the fixed scrolling background. I quite like how it looks. Now, next one, we are using hover um, on top of stencils. So I have added stencils to the section background. And what I have done is added a hover effect. And on the hover, I have increased the size. You can see here, non-hovered, the size of the stencil is 34%. And on hover, I've made it huge so that it creates this really cool effect. Like if the shape was zooming on and I've created this on the three sections. So I hope that gives you some ideas. Next one, this is just showing off that you can also use stencils on a map block. So here I've simply used it with an animated shape, which looks pretty cool. Our next section is, first of all, using footer reveal for this really cool effect. And here I've got a few more things. So I am using here magnetic motion on these two letters. I could have done every letter, but it took quite a while to create. So using stencil on an image block, and adding magnetic motion and over here you can also add stencils to buttons and create this really cool shaped and animated blocks so there you have it we've just explored the creative possibilities of stencils you now have access to a whole library of shapes the ability to upload your own custom svgs and precise control over how they look whether you're working with images videos buttons or section backgrounds, you have everything you need to break free from boring rectangles and create truly eye-catching designs in Squarespace. Thanks for watching. We can't wait to see what you create with Square Geeker.